The shape of this trim steel is defined by a cloud of points, and the objective of the video is to show how to combine surface design and solid design to recreate an exact model very rapidly. First, the cloud of points must be totally included into a solid body, such as a simple pad, for example. And then the idea is to split the body by the main surfaces of the part. Let's start with an easy surface such as a planar one. A planar area of the cloud is extracted and it is easily approximated by a planar surface using the basic shape recognition tool of the Quick Surface Reconstruction Workbench of Katia, also known as QSR. The surface only needs to be large enough and the splitting is done simply in the Park Design Workbench. Second example, the outline of the bottom part is created with QSR as an horizontal planar section. You may remove the unnecessary elements of the section and focus on the interesting one. This section must then be approximated by a sketch for a better quality and accuracy you can create a curvature analysis map showing with colors the exact location of the main curvature changes. These locations are selected as splitting points for the creation of the sketch. Once cutting points are positioned, you can select the type of sketch element you want in between, line or circle. Of course, you may also let it to be automatically chosen for you by Katia. The result of this operation is a standard sketch. It can be edited by a double click. You can add constraints or dimensions if you wish. Or like here, you can simply extend it to make sure that its extremities are out of the body. The sketch is then used to create a vertical surface by extrusion. And of course, the resulting surface will be used as a splitting element in part design to split the body and give it the right shape. The same operations can be used to create the cavity of the part. The bottom part of the cavity has been approximated by a planar surface and the walls will be created by an extrusion of a horizontal section. You may simply note that the horizontal section can be modified before creating the sketch to get rid of the defect existing on the initial cloud of points. Then, the splitting surface is just an assembly of the planar and the extrusion surfaces, and again, it is used to split the body. Two more operations are necessary to create the top of of the side walls on either side of the part. The process is the same, a planar section is approximated by a sketch, possibly using a curvature display for a better result, and the sketches are used to create extrusion surfaces to split the body and get the expected shape. For the last surface, the method is the same, the difference is that the area of the cloud cannot be approximated by a simple canonic or extrusion surface. But QSR also offers tools to approximate complex shapes. You just have to extract the area from the cloud with a brush type tool or with a flood selection. This extraction doesn't need to be perfect. There may remain some holes in the selection. And then the selected area is simply approximated by a surface with the automatic surface tool of QSR. The result is an unlimited surface, which is usable as well as a splitting element. And again, the split operation is done simply in the part design workbench. At that point, you have created the main surfaces of the part to reconstruct. The remaining operations are simple and can be done with the usual tools of part design. For example, you can easily create the missing fillets on the edges of the body, or you can add features such as holes or pockets. This is regular mechanical design work.
In this example, the whole reconstruction process takes less than 30 minutes for a trained user, from the import of the points to the creation of the final fillets on the body. It is a very efficient part recreation methodology, which applies to a large variety of parts commonly used in the mechanical domains.